At the peak of the rivalry between America and the Soviet Union during the Cold War, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle fighter jet was born. Designed to rival the prowess of the seemingly unparalleled Soviet fighter aircraft, the presence of the MiG-25 fighter jet with its incredible speed and power astonished American officials, surpassing their imagination. Ironically, the fighter aircraft they created to counter their own worst nightmares exceeded all expectations. Though deemed wild, the F-15 fighter jet became the cornerstone for even more revolutionary concepts. However, behind all its madness, this is the story of the wildest feat ever accomplished by the Eagle. The F-15 fighter jet is not just an ordinary aircraft, it is a manifestation of technological sophistication in the form of steel and unparalleled power in the blue sky. With a pair of Pratt and Whitney F-100 afterburning turbofan engines, the F-15 fighter jet can soar into space at a breathtaking speed, propelling its pilot to an altitude of 65,000 feet in the blink of an eye. However, beneath its dazzling sophistication lies a force capable of making the pilot's blood boil in just a matter of minutes. This is not just an aircraft. This is a powerhouse that dominates the airspace with equal parts elegance and intimidation. The remarkable F-15 fighter aircraft, known as the Strike Eagle, has achieved an incredible feat by breaking eight world records for ascent. Even before being fully operational, this F-15 reached an altitude of 103,000 feet in approximately 3.5 minutes. Just imagine, that's 18,000 feet higher than the service ceiling reached by the renowned SR-71 aircraft. This is an extraordinary accomplishment showcasing the excellence and prowess of technology in the modern aviation world. The F-15 Strike Eagle fighter jet isn't just an ordinary wing rocket ship. Its strength lies in an exceptional combination of engine power and lightweight wing design. This fighter jet is highly agile, capable even of aerobatic maneuvers typically reserved for state-of-the-art aircraft. With the latest fly-by-wire controls allowing for astounding maneuvers, the F-15EX fighter jet introduces a new level of aerobatic capability akin to the F-22 or Russian Su-35 fighter jets using thrust vectoring technology. Moreover, the F-15 fighter jet has evolved into a long-range combat champion with highly advanced avionics and air-to-air -air missiles. In 2021, the F-15C of the U.S. Air Force set a record for the longest air-to-air -air kill against a BQM-167 target drone reaffirming its dominance in aerial combat with an impressive record of victories and no defeats. The resilience of this aircraft was evident when several F-15s managed to return to base despite engine damage and losing all wings due to missile attacks. Within just three years of entering service, the success of the F-15 Strike Eagle prompted McDonnell Douglas to develop an unprecedented version the F-15E Strike Eagle, capable of accommodating two individuals in its cockpit. This fighter jet isn't just recognized in aerial combat. It also became the first combat aircraft to successfully employ laser-guided bombs to destroy enemy aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. This remarkable achievement positions the F-15 fighter jet in a unique place in the history of combat aviation. Let's start with an intriguing proposal, the F-15 NSA Eagle fighter jet. Imagine a real plan to deploy the F-15 fighter jet onto an aircraft carrier. In the early 1970s, the F-14 Tomcat, designed for operations on American aircraft carriers, faced significant challenges regarding its size, weight, and complexity. This prompted McDonnell Douglas to propose modifications to the F-15 fighter jet, then in development for the Air Force, 
to enable its operation on aircraft carriers. The F-15 fighter jet is 16,500 elbs lighter than the Tomcat. Its superior maneuverability and speed reaching Mach 2.3 exceed the Tomcat by approximately 150 mile per hour. However, the excellence of the F-15 fighter jet isn't solely in its performance and maneuverability. The price offered by McDonnell Douglas for the F-15 fighter jet was around $28 million per aircraft, significantly cheaper compared to the Tomcat, which cost $38 million per jet at that time, equivalent to three of today's F-35 fighter jets. Replacing the tail hook and adding specific features for carrier operations only increased the aircraft's weight by approximately 3,000 pounds without compromising much of its original performance. Yet, despite its speed, maneuverability, and enticing price, the F-15 NSA fighter jet still falls short in radar capabilities and its inability to carry as many F-54 Phoenix missiles as the F-14. The F-14 fighter jet is equipped with a powerful ANA double UG-9 radar and can carry half a dozen Phoenix missiles, while the F-15 fighter jet only has enough room to carry a single missile. The development of this new F-15 NSA PHX fighter jet concept, allowing it to carry more of 54 missiles, would add around 10,000 LBs to its weight without maintaining its performance advantage. In this regard, the F-14 still holds the edge. However, imagine the dramatic difference in the Top Gun story if Maverick were using the F-15 NSA on an aircraft carrier, how intriguing that would be. So, despite the appealing advantages of the F-15 NSA, there are critical aspects that still make the F-14 the preferred choice in several important areas for the Navy. Sure, let's delve into the strengths of the F-15 active fighter jet, also known as the Franken Eagle. This aircraft is a unique version of the F-15 fighter jet designed for easy takeoff and landing on short or even damaged runways. Initially, it was developed in response to potential situations in the past where airfields could have been a primary target in conflicts with the Soviet Union. What sets it apart is the transformation undergone by this F-15 fighter jet. Two thrust vectoring nozzles, similar to those found in the F-22 Raptor, along with the addition of canards, small wings located at the front of the aircraft. Resembling those of the F-A-18 Hornet are the major changes made to this aircraft. The F-15 short takeoff and landing maneuver technology demonstrator is an outstanding development version capable of taking off at speeds as low as 42 miles per hour and reducing the required runway length by up to 25%. For landing, the aircraft uses reversible thrust from its engines along with canards and thrust vectoring control, reducing the necessary landing distance by 78%. While a standard F-15 Eagle fighter jet requires a runway of over 7,500 feet for landing, the F-15 active fighter jet can do so in just about 1,650 meters. NASA took over this project in 1993 with the goal of developing advanced flight control technology. They retained the canard design on the wings but upgraded the engines with 360 thrust vectoring control, making the F-15 active and incredibly agile aerobatic eagle. Although this project wasn't intended for mass production, its aim was to gather crucial data on flight systems, thrust vector control, and the impact of canards on aircraft performance. Unfortunately, the use of the F-15 US fighter jets for this project was discontinued in 2009 after previous efforts. Let's talk about an idea that might sound extraordinary, but actually has a quite reasonable basis. Imagine an eagle with a rocket strapped to its back, a concept that previously sounded crazy, but is actually an intriguing proposal. In 2006, 
a team from Boeing presented a creative idea by modifying the old fighter jets, the F-15C and D of America, to become aircraft capable of carrying a 45-foot-tall rocket on their back. This resulted in what they called the F-15 GSSE, or Global Strike Eagle. This concept, logically but dramatically, opened up revolutionary possibilities for deploying hypersonic weapons or small satellites at a significantly lower cost. How does it work? The F-15 fighter aircraft would utilize the powerful afterburning turbofan engines and extraordinary lifting capabilities of its design to carry the rocket to the necessary height and speed before releasing it to reach orbit. This approach eliminates the need for expensive rocket launch facilities and enables the F-15 fighter jet to quickly deploy payloads to orbit from almost anywhere on the planet with airfields and hangars. Currently, the American satellite infrastructure is vulnerable to enemy attacks, as many vital satellites are positioned in orbit when the number of existing satellites is still very limited, making them easy targets. Therefore, America is striving to promptly replace damaged or disrupted satellites, and the Global Strike Eagle could be a highly relevant solution in this regard. The fighter jet F-15 carrying this rocket is mostly controlled remotely due to the specialized rocket equipment, extending into the cockpit, making it impossible for the pilot to eject before the rocket is deployed. The launch process involves multiple stages of rockets, with tremendous thrust to propel the payload into low Earth orbit. Though it might sound extraordinary, this concept is actually quite pragmatic. Despite not gaining widespread attention in the Defense Department at that time, this concept has a solid foundation in the ongoing effort to mature the technology needed to deploy orbital payloads from platforms like the F-15 fighter jet. Moreover, let's also discuss NASA's plan in the 2000s to use their F-15 fighter jets in hypersonic research by launching Phoenix missiles. This was not for warfare but aimed to efficiently gather hypersonic flight data. By repurposing existing hardware, NASA sought to launch Phoenix missiles with the F-15 fighter jets, maximizing the collection of hypersonic flight data. Although mounting missiles on the aircraft could affect its maneuverability, the F-15 fighter jet could still achieve the high speeds required for hypersonic research. In an effort, to reduce costs associated with preemptive measures against other nations, this concept emerged in the same year when the F-22 Raptor program was halted. Hypersonic technology, then a world leader held by the U.S., was disregarded for certain political reasons. Therefore, despite sounding extraordinary, this idea has a technological foundation and fulfills crucial needs in the development of the American military. It reflects efforts to optimize existing technology to tackle future challenges in defense and aviation. Did you know that there's more to fighter jets than just the F-15? There's this fighter jet called the F-15 Silent Eagle, which is truly remarkable in providing low observability capabilities to an already superior fighter aircraft. Even though it's not exactly stealthy, this aircraft is still fantastic. But wait, it's not just the F-15 fighter jet. I have some crazy plans to transform the F-16, F-14, F-22, and many more. If you're interested in learning more about these innovations, let me know and I'll prepare an exciting video for you.